Hello, Moto. Darren Pipster and friends will continue on, not only we have new characters, but only more people to join in the fun. Enjoy the show while it lasts. Dad, what kind of place is this? You've got airplanes, such as Tesla Air Regional and Tailslandian Cross Country, from airports in Valparaiso and Estelle Chaseville North, flying over the hotel every 10 to 15 minutes. I'll never get to sleep tonight. Bodhi, I can't help it if there's an army base and sister airport in Ashton City across the street. Hey mom, you would pick a place like this, dirt cheap. What is the name of the army base and sister airport of Ashton City across the street? Their names are Ashton City Travisville Regional Airport and Marvesta Air Force Base, and yes, Tesla Air has relaunched after a two-month hiatus and reopened their base and focus cities in Estelle and Soria. We decided to fly Tesla Air from Chaseville Santa Angela to Ashton City Travisville and it was a 1 hour 26 minute flight on board a Beechcraft 1900D and will soon receive Saab 340 turboprops from Silver Airways. Well, I don't know why this hotel room can hold this many people, including my golden retriever who goes with me wherever I always go. Wow. I didn't know an American Eagle Sea J900 can fly within the state of North Carolina. I just checked the Flight Radar 24 website on Darren's laptop and it was only a less than an hour flight. Oh, by the way, no wonder there's so many military men checking out of this room when we got here is because you've got me, Campa, Ellie, Ginger, Tom, Ben, Hank, Becca, Angela, Diamond Leaf, Velian Glacier, Sophie B. Hawkins, Sarah, Imogen Heap, Bodhi, Dharma, Germer, Darren, Riley, Clarable, Sasha, Alexandria, Kitsun, Asher Angel, and Sabrina Carpenter with us, along with Mau Mau, Badger Klops, Adora Bat, Tanya Keys, Ms. Tolan, and Serena Murphy in one room next to us, and the Wolf family in the other room next to us. Christina Grimmie, first of all, this room is in between us. Second of all, there's only one bed so while Ellie and Compass sleep with Ginger on that bed, and the rest of us can sleep on the floor, whether in the style or shape of an ancient pyramid of Egypt or not. So that's why this room we booked was cramped. And if you think you can push or shove to go to the bathroom, you've got another thing coming. Buddy, did you know it is close by the other base where the Hindenburg crashed one of your best friends that big blimp that floated in the sky over from Germany? Hold up, Angela. You should search Kindenburg Germany Blimp Crash using the Google search app on your phone. Luckily for them in the rooms parallel to us they wouldn't listen to us complaining about the aircraft noise. The number one question is, Darren Palster, how are we supposed to sleep tonight with all the planes, such as cargo, military, and passenger airliners, and even the private jets, like the King Air or Pilatus PC-12? 
going by and everybody partying around here. This happens all the time when we booked a hotel in Anastasia near Caden County Regional Airport near the Florida Georgia state line. Which is the Econ Lodge, is cheap enough, so that why Chris and I got it. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That's all you are, you fat polar bear. Don't spend any money on anybody. Oh, and I'm not able to sleep tonight because I cannot handle this at all. You think? Well, tough it up, buttercup. Oh, and don't call my wife a fat polar bear. That's not very nice. Well, Darren dear. If you go on YouTube and go to YouTube user then and trust YouTube profile, you can see some videos regarding loud military aircraft flying over the neighborhoods 10 miles near the Army bases in Texas. Wanna hear a story? For over 5 years, since 2002, military planes have been flying over my home, over and over and over again. There have been days when I have counted over 55 flights, all of them using the same flight pathway overhead at all hours of the day and night, causing severe stress and sleep deprivation. Everyone else continue with a different story paragraph. There is documentation readily available on the internet discussing the effects on individuals and the community from abusive plane sounds. That same documentation also discusses flight activities that increase the abuse level of the sound effects experienced by those on the ground below. FAA, Pilot Organizations, The Japanese and Pilot Textbook, all have written about minimizing the impact of abusive aircraft sounds on the community. I can only conclude that abusive aircraft overhead are piloted by individuals operating their aircraft deliberately and terroristically to harm those below their abusive flight path. The screaming aircraft overhead have repeatedly demonstrated that they can fly substantially quieter. Fighter jet pilots have been so severely abusive on many of their flights overhead, their sound waves caused structural vibrations so severe. It felt like my home was exploding around me. The physiological vibration has been so severe, it leaves you stunned. It is a concussion shock. The documentation is readily available on heart attacks triggered by abusive fighter jets overhead. The abusive sounds deliberately set off by the planes are so severe they forcefully induce rarely ending severe headaches that easily become incapacitating migraines that last for days sustained by the ongoing repeat flights of severely abusive migraine triggering flights overhead. You can't think with a migraine. The pain is too overwhelming. If someone twisted those pilots' balls every time they abused and misused their control over their plane's severe sound output, they might feel some of the pain they are causing. Your brain is struggling through sludge trying to think under the effects of the forcefully induced severe headache from the military planes. My home is not located near any airport or air force base that could explain the seriously destructive level of sound output from those planes. Three of my neighbors under the age of 45 are dead. One of those neighbors was a young recently widowed mother of two young children under the age of 12. Her husband had tragically died in an accident before she moved into the house just a few houses from mine with her two young children who now face life without a father and a mother. About half the neighbors on my street have moved and sold their homes. A new neighbor calls the severely abusive aircraft flying over our homes screamers. She had an unexplained miscarriage at six months. I have been severely affected, many times incapacitated by migraines forcefully induced by the screaming aircraft overhead and struggling with the forcefully induced severe headaches the remainder of the time. Mom and Dad, the only way I'm going to sleep tonight is by under a bunch of people in the shape of an ancient pyramid in Egypt so I can't hear cargo planes, military planes, passenger airliners, and private jets going over and other partying going on. But please, I just know how I want things to be. Don't do it that way. Listen to me. We're doing this because I say so. It's my way or the highway and you can't say no. Even when all this happens in the middle of the night. Ginger, stop acting like a spoiled brat. Next time, you'd better find an orphanage for this young naughty ginger kitty. Kampa, what are you doing? Starting a war with this cat with a purple shirt and blue overalls? Think again. Am I gonna do this again or am I gonna go home? Take your pick before I choose for you. Oh Sarah, keep it up and you will have to deal with me whether you like it or not and Germer you're already home into the farm of goats. Ginger, I swear to God, 
Keep it up and Gemma and Sarah will both drag you there. And Ginger, next time you pass gas, say excuse me. But whatever you did before Imogen Heap warned you was quite rude. Now what the hell is that, Darren dude? I don't know, Kitson. It might be something quite different. Guys, it must be the big calling kazoo. Let's go. No, Grammar, not that. Come on everybody, let's go outside our hotel room and go see what it is. Hey Riley, who died? Nobody died, Darren dear. It's probably something else. Miss Madsen, what are you doing here? All two dozen of you who are standing outside the room at night, along with the dog, I just want to give all of you a heads up that this sound means bedtime, so lights out and put all electronics away, you know, your phone, tablet, laptop, whatever, as long as you power them off for the night. Thank you. Thanks for the advice, Miss Madsen. Okay, Christina Grimmy, well, good night. Come on, Ginger, let's get you into your pajamas and get you ready for bed. I'm sorry, I don't have pajamas, Sarah. Neither do I. Don't worry, Alexandria and Clarabelle will take you clothes shopping so you two girls will get you pajamas. It's more like bedtime. How are we supposed to do this with all this racket? Well, since Compta, Ginger, and Ellie are all sleeping in the bed, the rest will have to sleep on the floor rather than split into different rooms except the two that are occupied next to us on either end of the two walls. That's because adding additional rooms to sleep in costs a lot of money. So I am afraid the rest of you might as well sleep on the floor or on the bed. You said it, let's get ourselves ready for bed two to three at a time. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger in your eyes They know we'll go down tonight Come in just like the sun Goodbye.